You've also got one thing that she doesn't talk about is it was unbelievably cold in the oh, winter of 1963. Yes, it was. In January 1963, the sea froze for one mile out from shore at Herm Bay in Kent. The sea froze. It was froze for four miles out to sea from Dunkirk. So the channel was freezing up in 1963. Mm. And then the upper reaches of the River Thames froze over. Now, this was interesting. The only reason the Thames didn't freeze yeah. in, uh, in London, do you know why they didn't freeze in London? It's a bit too polluted, presumably. Battersea Power Station. Oh, it kept it warm. Kept it warm. By pumping a load of shit into the yeah. river. Hot effluent from the two thermal power stations at Battersea and Bankside. That's what stopped it freezing over, they think. <laughs> nice. So it was really, really cold. Those buildings in Battersea would have had just one fireplace in the ground floor and yeah. nothing else. Yeah, it would have been cold. And no running water. And they have water. to keep the factory cold for the chocolate, don't they? Because so it doesn't melt. Yeah. yeah. So it. it would have been cold, it cold, would have been cold. It really cold. I'll tell you, that winter contributed to the demise of another famous uh, female feminist writer right. of the era, Sylvia Plath, died in yeah, 1963. She did. Now, she actually does talk about the pipes froze and the children were sick in that winter, and so her depression returned Deepened. big time as a result of so living was, I didn't know that. the cold. Oh, wow. uh, so, obviously, her novel The Bell Jar... Yeah was published in 63. Yeah. So that's a weird juxtaposition. Up really? the Junction and the Bell Jar. Really? I, quite, I, quite like, I think if you wore, read those back to back, it'd be kind of interesting. Yeah. Meanwhile, of course, the men are writing Ice Station Zebra, Alistair McLean, and Horse Underwater, Len 